Hey everyone, John here. I've gotten some questions about add-ons I use, so I wanted to make a quick video on all the add-ons I use and how to use them. I'll link the latest version of the TOS add-on manager in the description below. All the add-ons I'm talking about except one can be found there and easily downloaded. When you're inside the TOS add-on manager, you have two sides to download from, the JTOS and the ITOS sides. All these add-ons except one are going to be from the JTOS side. I'll also have a list of all the add-ons in the description down below. To get started, I'm going to talk about Zoomy Plus. This is an add-on that lets you zoom out further than usual from your default camera angle. In my opinion, this is the most mandatory add-on. You really just can't play the game without it. It also lets you change the camera angle by holding Control left mouse button and moving it around. To zoom out, you type Z plus. Give me a second. Z plus zoom and the number you want to zoom out to. So if you do Z plus zoom 400, you zoom there. I usually keep it at Z plus zoom 500. And I added this to my chat macros so I can zoom out at the touch of a button. Next up, we have channel changer. This lets you cha uh, change channels with a chat command. So the chat command for channel changer is chch and then you can type in a number to change channels to that specific channel for example if i type chch1 it'll move me to channel one there's also another chat command chch next which moves you to the next channel over this will move me from channel one to two two to three and it'll loop you around back to one if you're on the last channel next up is bookmark warp Bookmark Warp is a add-on that lets you save statue locations in the statue menu. So as you can see here, I already have two statue locations saved. If you have the add-on installed, you can right-click an area and hit Add Bookmark. It'll add it to the list of saved bookmark statues. If you want to remove a bookmark, you can just right-click and hit Remove Bookmark and it'll get rid of it. You can move this menu around by clicking in the little darkened area. So this is another useful add-on so you don't have to scroll around the map looking for where you want to go. Next up I have Indent Plus version 3. Indent Plus version 3 is this little bar you see here. It says slash IDP. This shows how much money you have from all your characters including your team storage. And if you press the maximize, it shows all the characters you have and all the dailies and other things they haven't done yet or have done yet. This is a really useful add-on, not only for the amount of money, but also for a daily checklist of what you have to do, as sometimes if you have multiple characters, it gets hard to keep track. Next up is another small one, Mapmate. As you can see, my minimap is slightly different than the one people have, or the default one. So Mapmate just makes it look nicer and adds a couple of features like amount of players on the map. I don't think this feature is working on this map, but overall, Mapmate's just a nice thing to have. Next up is an add-on that's really quite amazing. It's Muteki 2EX. So this add-on shows you skill timers and buff timers as well. So for example, if I use my retreating shot, this lasts for 10 seconds. And as you can see in this dark shadowy black box. Retreating shot has a cooldown shown. So how this add-on works is, for example, if I use marching fire, it shows marching fire. And to add skills, so let me remove a skill so I can add it. So I'm going to remove retreating shot and I'm going to use your retreating shot again. It's not there. But if I left click the buff on the top left, it'll add that to the Muteki 2 EX. So any skill or buff you want to keep track of, you should click on it and it'll add it to your Muteki. And you'll know which skills you added if you hit the add-ons tab and hit Muteki 2 EX. It'll show you which skills you added. And it's also customizable in the fact that if you press this lock, it'll get rid of the black box. So it just shows that. There's also trace and fixed. I personally like trace a bit better. It moves the cooldowns and skill timers above your head of the character and not in the black box below. And next up, we have another good add-on, Save Quest. As you can see, if you look around my screen, I have these little 
like spinning pinwheels. And these are all saved quest locations I have. For those of you who don't know, if you don't hand in a quest, you can press this little spinning pinwheel to teleport back to the NPC that gave you the quest. I recommend people not to finish their quests so they have an easily saved location so they can warp to it for free. I have a lot of quests from uh, field bosses or other important locations I want to go back to. I, I did the quest there and didn't finish it so I can teleport to them whenever I want. So to use this add-on, once you have it installed, if you right-click a quest, you'll hit C a couple of buttons. I'm not really sure what all of these do, but I know Shortcut is the one that makes this little thing on your screen. So let me show you one second. So this Time Race Temple. If I press Shortcut, it'll make one right here and I can move it wherever I want just by dragging and clicking it. If you want to remove it, you can just right click the little pinwheel and hit remove. This also lets you share quests with your party quite easily. So if I right click the quest, I can hit share and that'll share it with my party members. It also shows shared our party status right here. This is a very useful quest uh, add-on, so I would highly recommend it. The next add-on we're gonna talk about is Tooltip Helper. Tooltip Helper is another add-on which helps you, uh, it gives you collection and recipe item uh, info when you hover over the item. So for example, if I hover over this garnet, it'll tell me that it's part of a collection and it'll also tell me which recipes it's a part of as well. This is a very useful add-on not only for collections, but to see which materials are useful or not. Some materials don't have any recipes or collections, so you might as well throw this away, but some have a lot, so you might want to keep it and sell it. Next up, we have another useful add-on called Treasure Map. Treasure Map is an add-on that when you press the map button, it'll show you how many treasure chests are on the map, as well as the treasure chest locations. This is very useful for finding collection boxes in the world. And yeah, that's about it for this one. Next up we have status point check. So if you hit the status menu of your character, status point check adds this little checkbox or this little box here to click on. And if you click on it, it'll show you all the hidden quests that your character has completed as well as the ones you haven't completed. This is really useful if you want to get all the hidden quests and all the extra weight stuff like I have. And I would highly recommend it. Next up we have status viewer EX. This little thing here is Status Viewer EX. It just shows you all the stats of your character so you don't have to open up the menu every time you want to look at it. So this one's pretty useful and you can configure it by right clicking it and hitting Setting Screen. This will let you check, check on what you want and what you don't want. If my character doesn't use healing so I don't have that checked on. This is pretty useful overall and I would recommend it. Not a mandatory one though. I'll just move it over here. And the next two I'm going to show you are going to be have to be done in fields. Clover Finder is an add-on that shows you special monsters. It'll give a little picture icon, icon above it. Give me a second, let me try to find an elite here. So as you can see, if you have Clover Finder installed, elites show a little boss icon at the top of their heads. This also works for white monsters, red monsters, purple monsters, and whatnot. I don't really find it too useful when spotting elites because elites are pretty easy to see but this add-on is very useful when you're seeing white mobs or gold mobs as it'll just give a really nice highlight above their head. And the next add-on I, I want to talk about is Experience Viewer EX. So this little box over here, this little box displays EXP and silver per hour. So give me a second. So as you can see, since I'm max level, it's not very useful for the EXP per hour, but it does show how much silver I'm getting per hour. It calculates this by updating every three minutes and calculating how much silver you're making and converting that to silver per hour. This is a top tier add-on and I'm gonna make some videos in the future now that I have this add-on to show the best ways to make silver. Instead of guessing, you now have a pretty good tool to, to use to track your silver per hour. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope these add-ons are going to be useful for you. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and share this with your friends because I know a lot of people who play TOS aren't using some of these add-ons.